always wondered how porcupines fight without getting quills all over themselves. Let's see. Here's uh, our friendly neighborhood porcupine. A small one, presumably not quite mature, working around and heading now into the feeder, bird feeder that he usually eats out of. Suddenly he senses something incoming and erects his quills. Watch how the quill tail ripples slowly outwards to the point of the tail as well. And he's ready for business. The intruder's quite a bit bigger than him or her. But the intruder does get quills in his face. He spits out a wad of what looks like fur and quills that we recovered later, and then starts to pull the remaining quills out of his no muzzle. Presumably he's done this before, so why he would do this again, I'm not sure. But he does. And he's still working at pulling the quills out of his face. The smaller porcupine doesn't back off, though. And uh, the bigger one seems to begin to show some respect for the little one. The bigger one starts to eat sunflower seeds as well, still with the odd quill sticking out of his face. But the smaller one does not back off. Makes a few faint lunges. Still sporting some quills. The larger one, again, showing some respect to the smaller one, heads for our bird feeder installed just outside our picture window, climbs up, and commences feeding there on his favorite lunch, an apple core. He does not like my light. Some of the quills probably are itchy, and you can still see a number of them in different places of his body as he scratches himself and reveals his genuine rodent teeth. And about 20 minutes later, he's had enough of eating from our feeder and descends, using his tail, incidentally, to break his descent. And that's how porcupines fight.